people in this video let us look at the types of hearing loss <coughs> so uh, there are uh, mainly two types of hearing loss you can say conductive hearing loss and sensory neural hearing loss so conductive hearing loss is anything that is concerned with the external ear of the middle ear sensory neural hearing loss is the inner ear and the nerve okay so this much did you get there are two types conductive sensory neural this is very simple if you want a little more complicated look at this classification of hearing loss there's organic and non organic so let us say we are concerned with organic under that you have conductive and sensory neural sensory neural again becomes sensory and neural so neural is actually because of the nerve which is taking the uh, information to the brain right so that is neural so what is sensory it is the part of the inner ear <coughs> the cochlea right so you have conductive conductive is uh, because of what the external ear and the middle ear because of inner ear it is sensory because of the nerve it is neural okay neural can be because of the eighth uh, nerve eighth cranial nerve that is the vestibulo cochlear nerve right it can be because of the eighth cranial nerve vestibulo cochlear nerve this will be a peripheral nerve or there can be a central uh, nerve problem central nerve central auditory pathways the brain etc so look at this again so if this is the ear so tympanic membrane is a boundary anything outside of that that becomes the external ear this portion of it from the tympanic membrane to the labyrinth this becomes the middle ear middle ear has what and all you can say laterally it has the tympanic membrane it has the ear ossicle some muscles here right ossicles are what malleus incus and stapes so problem with anything till here right external and middle ear any complication any problem will be what kind of hearing loss conductive hearing loss okay anything between the in the cochlea if there's any problem that becomes the sensory hearing loss and the nerve as such if there is problem that that becomes neural hearing loss neural can again be peripheral because of this eighth nerve that you see here this is the vestibular nerve this is the cochlear nerve together they become the vestibulo cochlear nerve <clears throat> that's the cranial nerve eight isn't it so this is peripheral and this becomes central will be the central nervous system brain etc spinal cord auditory pathway so did you understand what are the hearing loss types conductive and sensory neural okay so for each of this we have to look at the cause okay conductive hearing loss in the external ear what can be there some wax right some wax or some uh, uh, problem can be there some foreign body which is stopping the conduction of the sound right then uh, in the middle ear some ossicular chain can be disrupted the tympanic membrane may be perforated all those are some causes in the middle ear so basically understand that in these there are lot of varieties we need to look at them individually some of them congenitally they will have problem they won't even have a proper development right so congenitally they can have issue and uh, sometimes when they have infection right there can be fluid development here in the middle ear otitis media so that also can cause conductive hearing loss okay then what else eustachian tube also if it is blocked that also can cause uh, conductive hearing loss okay so here you have the eustachian tube which is conduct uh, controlling that is uh, com helping communication of the middle ear with the pharynx nasopharynx so if that is blocked also there can be conductive hearing loss because the fluid will develop here right that is called as glue ear when the uh, secretions accumulate there okay so there are a lot of uh, causes of conductive hearing loss so how is it going guys so let's just take a brief into sensory neural hearing loss so basically here again it can be congenital they'll have some developmental issues they cannot they may not have a proper inner ear they may have improper nerve development so congenital causes will be there as usual and acquired causes so what do you think the acquired causes of a sensory neural hearing loss would be age by age as age increases probably the hair hair cells within this cochlea they may get damaged so people what are we looking at we are looking at sensory neural uh, hearing loss why can it happen by age the uh, hair cells can get damaged here you can see the organ of corti right <clears throat> here you have the outer hair cells which are outside right and inner hair cells so from the inner hair cells the nerve is taking the information to the brain so by age right a person becomes old by age his outer uh, his hair cells might get uh, 
damaged or by ototoxic drugs which are uh, like aminoglycosides some drugs can cause uh, damage to the outer hair cells or inner hair cells you know sometimes even uh, <clears throat> trauma trauma can cause uh, damage right some noise induced hearing loss can be there people who are uh, you know always uh, living in high noise areas they also can have this kind of damage then um, what else because of infection okay because of infection this damage can happen some people can have a f um, you know family history of uh, sensory neural history uh, hearing loss some people with diabetes hypothyroidism kidney disease autoimmune diseases multiple sclerosis all those so many diseases can affect the uh, hair cells and the nerve also you have heard of um, acoustic neuroma right where there will be a <clears throat> tumor growing on this uh, nerve right on the eighth nerve so vestibular schwannoma you can say that can also cause the sensory neural hearing loss meniere's disease then what else meniere's disease presbycusis right age related hearing loss so all these are uh, causes of sensory neural hearing loss we'll look at all the details in further videos as of now in this video we wanted to look at the types of hearing loss we understood that uh, simply to put it as you can say conductive and sensory neural hearing loss right um, otherwise the textbook says organic non organic organic is conductive sensory neural etc what do you mean by organic and non organic so basically organic means there is some anatomical problem or physiological problem etc but non organic means there is no apparent cause okay so this is more like a functional hearing loss so the person has some kind of a block mind block otherwise everything is fine so this can quite uh, commonly happen this is functional hearing loss so um, uh, let us say following an injury the whole ear has recovered everything is fine but the person tends to believe that they have pain in the ear or uh, hearing loss that is kind of a non organic type so some literature is saying that this non organic is something like people are lying they actually don't have hearing loss to avoid some service or something but as such apparently what you need to know is anatomically physiologically there is absolutely no problem okay what else we saw in this video we looked at some detailed causes of uh, conductive hearing loss and sensory neural hearing loss that's all for now in this video bye bye guys actually there's one more terminology called mixed hearing loss where they'll have both conductive and sensory neural hearing loss both that can happen if there's trauma if there's some ototoxic drugs <clears throat> or if uh, even in otosclerosis it's possible that they can have mixed hearing loss usually otosclerosis will be conductive hear conductive hearing loss but they can have mixed also okay so um one thing you should understand is when they talk about some terminologies are there like uh, bone conduction and air conduction just understand that okay <clears throat> what is bone conduction and what is air conduction whatever you normally uh we i talk and you hear that is um, air conduction right via air you are getting hitting the tympanic membrane going via the ossicles to the inner ear so this is air conduction there is yet another type of conduction called as bone conduction bone conduction means if you keep a tuning fork here which vibrates right that will uh, the vibration gets transmitted directly to the inner ear right so <clears throat> that is bone conduction so there are two types of conduction air conduction and bone conduction so it uh, but if bone conduction doesn't work okay look at this if bone conduction is not working why a bone also if they if a person cannot hear what does it mean that means his inner ear has problem so it will be sensory neural hearing loss if bone conduction is not working it means sensory neural hearing loss okay so air conduction is not working can be two things either it can be conductive deafness or it can be sensory neural hearing loss right but if bone conduction is not working it definitely means that it is sensory neural hearing loss so one thing you can definitely write here if bone conduction is less or if bone conduction is not working then there is definitely sensory neural hearing loss okay usually air conduction is more than bone conduction that also if you want you can remember usually or normal normal is air conduction greater than bone conduction can you say this air conduction air conduction is greater than is greater than bone conduction bone conduction so which is more air conduction air conduction okay thank you so much so sensory neural hearing loss can be uh, uh, termed as snhl okay sensory neural hearing loss 
so when we talk right when we talk what we hear whatever we are talking we are getting uh, we are hearing it via air conduction and bone conduction that is why our voice sounds very different when we talk but when we record and hear our own voice that time this bone conduction will not be there okay when we record and hear our own voice that time only air conduction will be there right so our voice sounds different because of this reason because when you talk you have two components air conduction and bone conduction but when you record and hear your voice you will have only air conduction okay so did you understand this <clears throat> so if bone conduction also doesn't work for a patient what does it mean if bone conduction also doesn't work for a patient what does it mean it means sensory neural hearing loss okay 